Hi, I'm Stassi Schroeder, and this is Styled by Stassi on okmagazine.com. New York is so inspiring fashion-wise. I mean, I feel like people are so much more relaxed here, yet they look so much more put together. It's just, it's edgier. It's kind of like an anything goes atmosphere, whereas in LA, it's kind of like everyone wears the same shit. I, I just, I love it. I feel like there's just so much creativity. I love wearing hats here. I love like the accessories, just everything, just putting in it, just making each outfit special. Whereas in LA, it's your tank top and your shorts and, you know, maybe some embellished sandals and that's, you know, a cute outfit. There's just so much more to, to add here. It's mink pink. Um, that's the designer, not, it's not actually mink, but <laughs> amazing. It's so warm, you have no idea. Um, I'm really loving just like pantsuits, and so I feel like they can transition from winter to spring so easily, just in lighter fabrics and, you know, lighter colors. I love just like that relaxed look of, you know, a, a white loose button down with white loose trousers. Like, I think that's just so chic and sophisticated. Um, I'm really loving the newcomer Margot Robbie. I just, her, not only is she stunning, but like her style, it, it, it's so ladylike and it, but still sexy and modern. She's just so, I, I feel like she looks so much old, like she looks young, but the way she carries herself is so, and dresses is so much older and in such a, a fresh way. Um, I think she's fabulous. Um, Olivia Palermo is my favorite. Um, I'm obsessed with her. And now that she's engaged, I feel like I can't wait to see what she's gonna pick for her wedding events, you know, and all of that stuff. I just think that she can do no wrong. I really love actually to, to have my own styling book. I've always wanted that. I've envisioned that for myself since I was younger. Like when I was a teen, I would go to Barnes and Noble and, and look in the style section and everyone who is, you know, doing books like that. And I, I just thought like, I can do this. Like I, I, I want to be able to relate to, you know, younger girls and, you know, show them that you, you know, even if you don't have it all or you don't have a lot of money, you can still, you know, play that part and dress like you do. And that's what's kind of been my niche whenever I write about fashion is that like, I, I'm not wealthy. So I know how to put looks together that are affordable and everyone should learn how to do that. I just discovered which, like where to buy basics and, and, and what exactly to buy. Like what to, you know, it. you buy separates that can be paired with, you know, many different things. You don't splurge on, you know, the accessory of the moment and, you know, flea markets and Zara, Topshop, like certain websites, they're like hidden treasures everywhere. Um, I'd really like to get my hands on Jennifer Lawrence. Like she looks good all the time, but there's nothing really special about what she wears. I feel like I could kind of like give her that edge, you know, up her fashion factor. Everyone's looking at her right now. Everyone's talking about her right now. She could be a style icon. I want to make her one.